be working, I don't wanna play games. I just wanna get cash or I'm away to say games. I ain't with that bitch, but you won't hit it. You can get flamed. Blowing all the gas when I ain't hell is not a problem. Yo, what a guy. Back here with another video, man. Shit. Hey man, it's funny how I was talking about that DMV shit. <sighs> now the DMV opened back up now and shit. I made my appointment to go get my license and all that in a couple more days. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that taken care of so I can hop on the road. But yeah, though, man, today I want to talk about like shit not being your fault. Shit not being none of our fault in life, man. You feel me? I say shit become your fault when you become aware to it. When you become aware to what you're doing, that's when shit is your fault. We live in a world to where when we was born, things was already put out for us, like I was saying on my last video, man. So with that being said, man, it's like, if you born already, and they already telling you this is how everything is, and you believe that with all your heart, like... You, they they showing you this. You got no other way of seeing the truth. They showing you this and they telling you it's true. They told you the meaning of the truth. You feel me? So like they gave you all these emotions, all these feelings, and they made you grasp your feelings and emotions to all these things inside the world that they created. So that means this whole time since birth, you're not even yourself. You see, bro. Yeah, man. They're going to jump a shepherd in here. Got Raven in the cut. I was saying, Raven. So I saw it. Yeah. Got Raven in the cut. Raven got home with y'all. I'm going to share that with y'all, too, man. I'm going to let y'all see everything I'm doing, dog. I like to do everything, bro. Shit that I grew up doing. Hey, calm down. She on it, look. Yeah. She got me, I got her. But back to, back to what I was saying, though. <laughs> Nigga better hope I can get him before my dog, dude. Shit, my dog gonna chew your ass. No, I ain't worried about all that. But like I was saying, though, man, so you born into a world and the whole time you're born, like since birth, you're not even yourself. But like, as a child, you grow up, you see things and you like things. What is you doing? Let's see what she's doing. Oh, well, it's gonna be like a little talk slash vlog. Nobody even at you. She's probably barking at the dogs, barking down the street. So yeah, man, you're born into a world that blinds you from who you truly are. You're born into a world that gives you a God outside of yourself. You feel me? I'm going to touch on that topic too in this video, dog. So like... They basically just create you, like like a video game. I see this shit like Grand Theft Auto, cause you literally can do anything you want in this bitch. It's just people so governed to these rules that you allow them to tell you that this is right and this is wrong. Like a part, like you born and they told you what's right and what's wrong. Like really think about that. We all got common sense. Ooh, reflex it, reflex it. <laughs> we all got common sense in the right from wrong. But we born with them telling us this is right and this is wrong. We born with them telling us that we are going to hell for doing this for the ones that grew religious like I did. But we grew up with them telling us that we got a Jesus and all this and that. I feel like all that was made for control. Like they telling you. Let's see, man. Cause when I, when you talk about this religious shit, it, it get a lot of it get touchy with a lot of people, man. But at this point in life, man, you don't supposed to care about this, bro, because that shit holding a lot of people back. And I'm trying to make my people realize, so I'm taking extra step by fucking doing this, man. So I don't really care. Like, really think about this, man. If you a slave, right? Say you living normal. You a slave. Well, now you ain't a slave. You living normal, man. 
you in your land, and you around all your people, your culture. And that's all you're used to seeing every day. And then some other people come over. They try to be all friendly and shit, and then they take over. Time go by, you working on the farm or some shit, you and your family. After billions, of, after not billions, but after millions of y'all already got murdered and shit, you feel me? So now you're working for the people who murdered you on their property that they stole from you. And then they give you a book. And they're telling you that in this book, this thing going to save you. And this is what you got to do. This is the way of life and all that. Really think about this. If people that did all that to you, you really think like they will give you something that's going to benefit you? Like, really, y'all don't, like, 90% of y'all, I ain't gonna say 90, like, 99% of y'all who got a Bible never even read the whole thing. The Bible don't even speak against slavery, the shit. Yeah, it condones it. Like, for all y'all who still religious and y'all got a Bible, look into that shit, man. But touching back on more shit, bro. Everything, bro, like, shit don't be your fault. They get social media and they get TV and they get everything to... Make you think that this is how shit supposed to be. They show you how other people act, but these people getting paid to make you act a certain way. They getting used to make you think this is the way to life. That's how celebrities are a thing. They get used to blind y'all because y'all think that these are people that's just, you know, but out, like outside of that camera, they living a normal life like y'all, but better than y'all because they not following that program. They giving a program to y'all. Don't let that fly over your head. The news, all this shit is controlled, man. We getting information from people who took over this world. You gotta understand that slavery never ended. Slavery never ended. They took the chains off in there and they put the chains on your brain, man. The same niggas who came and murdered all them people for control, they're the same ones in office right now running everything. It don't matter what country or state you in, bro, all these niggas plugged in and they working together, bro. You don't gotta believe a fuck thing I'm saying. All the information out there for you to get. Y'all just so distracted that y'all want to focus on everything else that don't matter. But that's not going to serve you no purpose in life. I bet a lot of y'all got dreams, but y'all not going to focus on y'all dreams because y'all going to allow somebody else to distract you from it. Or you allow yourself to. At the end of the day, you really allow yourself to because you the one who made the choices for your life. <laughs> she barking that lady across the street. You made the decisions for your life, man. Nobody else do. That's why I really think, like, you know, man. That's what God and devil is. It's you. You got to trust to be the God. You got to trust to be the devil. It's all about the choices that you make as a person. It's not two physical beings waiting in a place for you to arrive there, man, for something that you do here. You got to understand, bro. If all I like, the story of God just to put you here to test you to see if you can make it to heaven is crazy because if he created you, why the fuck would he create you just to test you? And then if you fail, put you somewhere that you're going to cry forever. None of that shit makes sense. All that shit is a mind fuck to keep you trapped, man. If it's a such thing as an all-loving God, why the fuck kids starving right now? Why the fuck, like, black people dying down there every day? Why the fuck the hood never changing? Why the fuck the rich kid get you, like, getting rich and the poor getting poor, bro? It been thousands of years, man. People been getting murdered. People like so much shit been happening, dog. If it was all living God, none of that would be taking place. That sounds like a crazy ass nigga who like violence to me. We God, man. And you gotta realize that God isn't you. God is all of us. All of us. Animals, trees, nature, all that shit. We all God. We make this shit, man. We the creators. You feel me, man? They say. They say God can say. How tall that tree can grow, right? Or some shit. I can go cut that bitch down. You gotta understand the mind, bro. They, they fuck with your head. Read between the lines, dog. A lot of shit not your fault. But once you become aware to it, man, it's your fault. Because you got choices, dog. You got choices in this life. You know right from wrong. It's called common sense. We all got it. Make the right choices for your life, man. If you want better, stop hanging around bullshit people who ain't serving you no purpose. 
you are who you hang around. If you hang around a lot of people that's on a lot of fuck shit, you a person that's on a lot of fuck shit. You, if you know a lot of things, like I'm saying right now, and you're not saying it, man, you need to work on yourself. Because why are you holding it back if you know you can say something that matter? I'm going to just leave it at that. Y'all hit that subscribe button, man. Keep fucking on that nigga, dog. Nigga, that how we live. We smoking dope at the grill. We playing ball in the field. And shooting balls at the rim. They tell us shoot for the star. Because we just want to.